Hey everybody out there, so today for you guys we're going to be doing a deck profile of a deck that I've thoroughly enjoyed playing over the course of the last couple of weeks. I'm still testing out ratios and everything, um, but that deck is Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. Now this is a deck that <laughs> I have wanted to build for a long time, but Assault Modes sucked until earlier this year when we officially got the support released over here in the TCG. Now, I did see a Stardust, Star, Stardust, uh, la, 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 I am tongue-tied, Stardust Dragon Assault Mode played back when Dragon Rulers were a thing, for a hot moment that was actually a thing, I remember seeing it, it topped a regionals with something back in the day, but, yeah, that was a long time ago, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed this deck, and uh, I'm, d I'm definitely playing around with the ratios and everything, I've been playing against tier 2 decks, and just fun decks, and been using it as a my go-to deck if I'm teaching somebody Yu-Gi-Oh or something of that nature. Um, but I thoroughly enjoy this deck a lot, guys. So let's get into the deck profile. So first off, we run three Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. Now, this is a brick for the deck. I will admit that to you. It is pretty much a brick. Now, I've seen different people run different ratios of Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. I've seen people run it as a two of three of, even one of in one case. Uh, personally, I feel like two of is okay. Uh, one of, definitely run more than one of. Uh, but two of, I definitely see is okay because it can get bricky. Three of works for me because I seem to personally not draw this card <laughs> for some reason and then there are instances where I draw two of them. Um, so it will be like five games I'll play. I'll, I will never draw this card. And then game six, I draw two of it. And it's like, okay, I guess I'm making up for the other times I didn't draw it. I don't know. That's probably just me and my shuffling or whatever. But, um, yes, it can be bricky, theoretically. And two of is fine, but three of works for me. And it adds consistency because I always seem to go to two to three assault modes in a duel with the way that how the deck turbos, turbos out Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. So I'll usually go for two to three. Like, relig religiously, every two to three duels, I'll make three of them. Or four. I mean, every four duels. But it happens fairly often, I would say. So definitely run it as a two to three of. And... If you have a preference, go right ahead. But I want to just talk about that for a second. But this card's really cool and is pretty good. Has a good has good negation effects, etc. Um, pretty pretty dang good card. It's aged fairly well. I'll say that. Now let's talk about the card that is the backbone of the deck. This card is essential to just about every combo play in the deck. Um, this helps you go for Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. Pretty much hands up. Uh, you w do not want this card to get ashed. <laughs> you do not. That's why you run Call by the Grave. Uh, some people run Gamma uh, because they want this card to go off that much. So if you want to run instead of what I'm, my, the hand traps I'm running or change up the ratio of things, you could run um, Cyphering Gamma um, in the deck if you want to to negate stuff. I find that's okay. I've seen people run a more Psyframe Assault Mode based deck and they've been successful with that and that's perfectly fine. That's not the, how the way I wanted to approach the deck. I wanted to try to make it as a deck that has a bunch of negations that can just negate the heck out of your opponent. You know, have a, a board set up where it's two, you know, pretty much usually it's usually three to four negations set up either in my hand through hand traps or traps and my monsters. Or something of that nature. So this card's essential because it literally helps you go into assault mode. Because it helps you revive your level four, uh, search assault beast to pitch for assault mode. Just the, it's amazing card. And you technically run five of this card because of one for one and emergency teleport. So you can easily get to it. You just don't want it to be negated. Um, assault sentry. Uh, this card's pretty good. This helps you pretty much toolbox and the things that you need for your deck to get to your plays. It's a pretty decent card. The nice thing about Assault Sentry as well as Assault Beast is that both of these are Beast Warriors. So there's multiple ways you can search these cards out. You can search them out through Cyframe Reflector or you can search them out through Fire Formation Tanky in the deck. And this guy can get, become a little bit of a beater if you have Fire Formation Tanky out. And this guy, I mean, 17 attack, eh. You know, not amazing beat stick power, but it does put damage in if you need to. 
But yeah, these are easily searchable. You have multiple ways of searching these guys out. Some people run, like running three Assault Beast. That's fine, but I'm easily able to get through and quickly to my Assault Modes, like very quickly. Like you have so many ways to get to Assault Mode. It's very consistent nowadays. But uh, Assault, sent, 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 Sentinel, excuse me, geez, I am tongue-tied. It's been three months since I've done a deck profile. I'm a little bit rusty. But uh, Assault Sentinel is definitely a three over the deck because it helps, like I said, toolbox into things that you need that have Assault Mode in the name. So, yeah. That's what we got for that. Uh, hand Traps. Three Effect Veiler. It's kind of funny how, if I when I start looking at this deck, um, how kind of anime-ish this deck is. And what I mean by that is, like, how many anime-esque car, you know, cards that were played in 5Ds or actually in this deck. Um, like Effect Failure, a good hand trap still used today. But uh, yeah, even a Yusei card. Um, but yeah, 3 Effect Failure, um, like I said, Negation, Negation, Negation. If you want to, you could run Gamma instead. Uh, I also run 3 Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs as well. Ash Blossom is Ash Blossom and negates the... F you know, you, you know where this is going. You want you're gonna usually have you know one of these in your hand, or and then maybe a negation on board, and maybe a trap on the field to negate stuff. So you're gonna have three to four negations usually, um, once you get, set, get your board set up properly. But yeah, hand traps are essential to this deck, and how to stop your opponent from doing things while you set up for your assault mode, as well. So, yeah, hand traps. Uh, three fire formation tanky. Like I said, this helps you search out your Assault Beast and your Assault Sentry. So yeah, this helps this out. And these this also can make them turn into a little bit of a beat stick. So, you know, these guys. So yeah, uh, three tanky is essential in the deck for certain. Uh, next, we run three Call by the Grave. Like I said earlier, you want to make sure your cards don't get negated, in your, especially Side Frame Reflector. So like I said, if you want to run Gammas, go right ahead. I have them. I've just, from t play testing, I don't get them negated a lot. Um, if I was to take this deck maybe to a, in a tournament setting, like if I was taking it to locals or if I'm taking it to a regionals, it's definitely not going to top a YCS. But I would probably maybe take the effect failures out for gammas or at least side deck them. Um, but play test that before you try that out. But yeah, three call by the grave is essential in the main deck because you do not want to get negated. And it's just a good versatile card overall. Uh, for your one of spells, you run one Assault Mode 0 and one Assault Teleporter. Because I run three Stardust Dragon Assault Mode, I run one Assault Teleporter. That ratio works pretty well. This card can be dead in some instances, but in those hands where it gets clunky, it's just nice to have. Um, I've had times where I'm like, oh, this is in my hand. I want this back in my deck. Okay, shuffle it back into the deck because of this card. Draw two cards. Yes, it is technically a neg one. I got that, but it does help out in the deck. And this card is just very versatile and is useful as a one of in the deck as well to help out in certain situations. So yeah, that's where we run there. Uh, E-Tele and one for one, like I said earlier, these are your for your fourth copy and your fifth copy of Cyframe Reflector. Pretty much. That's exactly what these are here. Upstart Goblin for consistency. Yes, you don't want to draw into your assault modes, but draw power is nice overall. And one Monster Reborn because reviving your Stardust Dragon and then going into another assault mode is awesome. And just overall, re you know, revert, you know, reborning cards is nice too. So, yeah. Uh, next up, three Stardust Dragon assault mode. It's time to rev it up. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, three to Star Dragon Assault Mode. Some people run two of this because they feel it's a little bit bricky. But there have been multiple times I'll be dueling and on turn one or turn two even, like I'll be searching this card out right away. Like I'll already have all three, two of them set and there'll be just one in deck and I'll next turn search it out for some, you know, through some means. But I prefer three of because I... Like I said earlier, I usually go to two to three assault modes per duel if everything is working correctly. Can this card be bricky, just like Stardust Dragon Assault Mode? Yes, it can be, but it's essential to how the deck functions, and you need to get to this card as soon as possible as well. Um, next we run three back to the front. Like I said, 
This helps you go for different combo plays that you need to and just do different extensions. Reborn Stardust Dragons. You could run Call by the Haunted if you want to because you know Stardust Dragon has big attack. That's usually what you're reborning. It's up to you. I just like back to the front in case they decide to destroy like uh, Twin Twisters I ran into. Um, I don't know why, but recently I've been seeing people side deck Twin Twisters. And I'll run into those in game two when I'm playtesting against buddies of mine with this deck in like fun tournament settings. Just fun tournaments, not not like meta-defining tournaments. But um, those side deck Twin Twisters and it's like, oh, okay, um, yeah, you know, Call the Haunted got killed. Um, so you could run Call by the Haunted, but I prefer back to the front right now. And it's working out pretty well for me thus far. So that's up to you to decide, I'll say that. But definitely run either Call by the Haunted or Back to the Front for sure. And that's a two to three of. Uh, three infinite impermanence. Like I said, negation, negation, negation. I love negating my opponent's stuff. There's a reason why I love Counter Fairies and Hail to Perfection. I'm that guy. Negate your stuff and you can do nothing. <laughs> um, so yeah, three impermanence, more negation. Yeah. And, you know, Mama said to me one day, you know, if you can't negate them after the third time, try a fourth time. So, this card, according to what I've been told by a judge, because the way it's been ruled, and they didn't errata it, errata it when it got the new Assault Mode stuff came out. I wish they did. it had been really nice, because this would make it searchable. So, it's as of right now, it's not searchable until they errata it, or they do a change or something. Um, but this card's really good. This is like Solemn Judgment for the deck. It's one of those old school type of cards that came out in 5Ds with GX, where it's just like, if you have this on the field, or this and this on the field, negate! Um, pretty much Infernity Barrier type of cards. <laughs> but this card's pretty good. So you have assault, or, assault Mode out in the field, right? You can negate an opponent's spell, trap, or monster effect. More negation! Always a good thing. Can it be bricky? Yes. But with the ease I'm able to get to Stardust Dragon Assault Mode, it's usually been live for me. Uh, I would not run three of it. I tried three of this card out originally when I was playtesting the deck out. I did not like it. Some people run this as a one-up because they love it, but it's not searchable. That's fine too. I would definitely consider running this in the deck at some you know ratio because it's just a good card. It's a negation. Like... Yeah, Solemn Judgment's back at three, but this call, and you know, it's not situational, I will admit that, but this just helps with, you know, this doesn't cost you life points and half your life points. I love Solemn Judgment, don't get me wrong, but you could either run, you know, some other cards for maybe your if you Cyframe package if you wanted to instead of this, or if you're like me and you just wanted to get your opponent's stuff, you run this. So, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, Stardust Dragon Field Center. Thank you, Japan. Then we have Stardust Dragon Assault. Start with Stardust Dragon, my ulti I've had for years now. I love this card. Uh, Stardust Alternative Form. <laughs> and Stardust Dragon, the first Ed one that I got at... Uh, gosh, was that Sneak Peek? No, that was a tin I got this out of when I was a kid from the original set. Uh, yeah, this is a first Ed one. Uh, and then we got... Jack Atlas's cards, apparently. Uh, Red Eye, excuse me, a Scar Right Dragon Archfiend. Uh, Bull Savage Dragon. You can run or not run this. If you don't have it, that's fine. I like it because I sometimes go into this and it works out fairly well for me. Um, because I usually do go for link plays to some extent, point in the duel. And if I'm in a position where I've gone through a lot of my resources, this has come up. I'm going to say this at one time, guys. The only main cards you need in this entire extra deck are Stardust Dragons. You have three Stardust Dragons. After that, run anything else you want. Uh, F.A. Darn Dragster, we run that card. Uh, Cyber Quantos, I it's in French or German, I can't pronounce it. Uh, I have my Arado one somewhere, it's in my deck box. <laughs> uh, then we have Black Rose Dragon, <laughs> all T-Rare. Um, yeah, Keys of Cards. Like I said, a lot of 5D stuff in this deck. Uh, next, we run Cyframe Lord Omega. We run Brionic of the Ice Barriers. Um, now, Brionic, you could run this or Coral Dragon. Uh, Crystal Wing. 
Trishula, uh, Nightmare Unicorn, Nightmare Cerberus, Basic Links, and lastly, Beat Cop, because it's just a generic Link 2 with good arrows. Uh, the good thing is with this deck is once you get out your Stardust, you're usually going to go for Assault Mode, so your Extra Deck Monster Zone is usually going to be free most of the time. So you're usually going to be perfectly fine with that, and you're not going to have any problems with you know, locking out your extra deck monsters, even though this is a synchro based deck, because Star Strike and Assault Mode is a main deck monster. So, saying that, um, the deck links are essential, but they're not as essential as they would be in maybe another type of synchro variant of a deck. But overall, guys, I've enjoyed this deck. Um, I do apologize if I'm a little bit rusty doing my talking about my deck. Um, it has been three plus months since I've done a deck profile. And I'm rusty. This is the first time doing it. I hope I did okay. And I love this deck. This deck is so cool. Um, you know, I love playing back in the day with Quasar builds. And when Lynx came out, you really couldn't play Quasar anymore, sadly, um, to some extent. And uh, especially after Level Eater got hit. Oh. Uh, but now that we have Star Strike and Assault Mode, I get to play with Stardust Dragon again and just do different things. And it's just so cool. And I love this deck to pieces. But yeah, till next time, guys, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. And remember, guys, to rev it up every time you duel. Take care, everybody, and good luck dueling to all of you.